So with breast cancer being the second most common cause of cancer death, I'll be talking to us today about a very important topic, which is the self-breast examination. It's very, very important because it helps with early detection, early diagnosis, early treatment. So before we go into that, many of us would like to know, many of us ask this question. So what's the cause of breast cancer? What's the cause of breast cancer? What is breast cancer? So the body, the entire body is made up of so many cells. So cells in the breast when they grow out of control they start to grow out of control they start to proliferate out of control this is what breast cancer is and the cause of breast cancer is not specifically identified yet but there are certain things we call risk factors these are like risk factors are things that can predispose you to having breast cancer and these predispositions things that predispose you to having them that things that we have control over things we don't have control over. We're either born with them or we just have them. So that's what we call the modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. So for this, we'll start with the things that we have no control over. That's non-modifiable risk factors, which includes the age. So the, the, the higher the age, like the elderly, they are more predisposed to having breast cancer. Younger, younger age, less predisposed to having breast cancer. That's a dispute for them. They can have breast cancer, but they are less predisposed to having breast cancer. Things like our race, the blacks are more predisposed to having breast cancer. Things like a uh, positive family history of breast cancer in first generations, like example, like mother, sister, aunts, they have positive family history of breast cancer in either of these and other, other people I mentioned that were so more predisposed to having breast cancer. Things like uh, not a parity never had children before, you're more predisposed to having breast cancer because you've never had children, you've never got, had to breastfeed. So breastfeeding actually reduces our risk to having breast cancer. So other things like uh, early age at your first period, that's early menarche. So early age at your first period, if you started your period at a very early age, you are more predisposed to having breast cancer. Uh, early and um, late menopause, right now went into menopause at a very late age so you are more predisposed to having breast cancer so those are the things that we have no control over so now moving on to things that we can control which is majorly our lifestyle such as smoking if you smoke you're predisposed to having breast cancer or any cancer at all smoking alcohol consumption drugs like oral contraceptive pills hormone replacement therapy uh, sedentary lifestyle, uh, obesity, when you're obese you're more predisposed to having breast cancer, um, eating fatty diets which, which can make you obese, makes you more predisposed to having breast cancer. So with that said, I'll be talking to us about the age, because many of us ask this question, so at what age should we start self-breast exam self examination? So I would like to say that, ideally, the age is 20 and above so but if you are if you have any of this um, risk factors that I mentioned above like if you have a positive family history major of the breast cancer I think she's done at an early age maybe 16 18 she starts self examination earlier so with that I'll talk to us about the procedure for a self breast examination so to do this, you need we need a mirror. You can do self breast examination by standing and by lying down. But before then, you need a mirror for the visual the visualization or visualization aspect of self breast examination. So take off your shirt, stand in front of a mirror, and then you're looking. But it's good that you do this thing, this self breast examination every day at the device because. If you do it every day, if there are any abnormalities, you can easily detect it. Because you see your breast, you see what you do the examination every day, you know what your breast is, is like every day, you know what it feels like every day. So if there are any abnormalities, you identify it faster. Because you know, you know what it is already. So 
you stand in front of a, your mirror back to the procedure stand in front of your mirror your hands down your brows on bra your shirt is off your bra is off so you looking at your breast and then what are you looking at what are the things that we should look out for you're looking at the shape of the breast is there any abnormality in the shape of the breast any dimpling any abnormal discoloration any rash any any swelling is the nipple inverted or inverted inverted nipples are if the nipple is normal it's inverted but if you have an inverted nipple and you have problems the right things you should be looking out for are they more than one breast the position of the breast normal so when you're when you're done looking you can you also put your hands on your waist as well and visualize look at it in the mirror so after looking the next step is to touch to palpate the breast so you can put your hand behind this is helping to expose your armpit area as well as your breast and this palpation you can do it you're doing it you're going to do it standing and lying down but I'm starting with standing first because we already visualize standing so to be standing you put your hand behind your head exposes your armpit and the breast because many of us ignore we can do self breast examination every day and then we ignore the fact that you can actually have a lump under your armpit because yeah, lymphatic uh, lymphatics at the armpit, lymphatic drainage at the armpit. So you can actually have a breast lump under your armpit all the way. So you have to help uh, even examine that part as well. So your hand behind your head, and then you visualize dividing your breast into four quadrants, into four parts, like this and like this. So as to help us go all around the breast. So palpating, you start with light palpation at the foot. Going around four quadrants, make sure you touch light palpation all through the four quadrants of the breast. We've done that, we're going deeper, like deep palpation all through the four quadrants of the breast as well. Make sure to palpate the armpit, check for lumps and everything. And then lastly, we're going to pinch the nipple for any discharge. If there are any discharge, you're going to look at the color. Is it milky? Is it whitish? Is it bloody? You look out for that as well. And after that, you can you should do the same thing. Lie, lie down, supine, with your hands above your head as well, and go through the same quadrants with the same way I mentioned when you were standing. And it's very important that we do this every day because it helps, it really helps, it helps with early identification. If you notice any of the abnormalities I mentioned above, even by looking and by palpating, if you notice anything, any abnormalities, go to your doctor. It doesn't matter how small, if you notice any rash or any abnormal discoloration in your breast, go to your doctor. Don't, don't just ignore it and just say, it's just a rash, or it's just redness, or it's just the discharge it's just one free discharge from my breath go to your doctor it's very important it helps with early detection early diagnosis and treatment it really helps because many people ignore ignore things like a swelling or a lump in their breast on and then it progresses on it then becomes worse and then turns to something else that is beyond your control that's when you then come to your doctor and maybe it's too late for us to for, for certain interventions. So it's very important that we do the self breast examination every day. Doing it every day, like I said earlier, it helps you identify any abnormalities early enough because it's a constant thing. So I advise our sisters, our aunts, our daughters, if you do it every day, your daughters learn to do it every day. I advise them to do it. Very, very important it helps prevent and helps helps prevention basically it's a preventive method because once you've identified any abnormalities and i'll also like to point out that it's not every lung that is breast cancer and that's why we are advising you to do this self-examination and if you notice any lung 
go to your doctor that some lumps that are benign that are not cancerous so once they are noticed interventions faster interventions can be done so you go to any lump any abnormalities like i mentioned earlier contact your doctor so with that said I'd like to thank you all for listening and have a nice day.